Okay. All right, so we'll get started because we're at 1230. Um, Precious, I noticed that you were, um, that you zoomed into the, um, the class this morning at 925. And um, again, I apologize, it was mostly a lecture class, but we try not to do that all that much in accounting. We try to do a combination of lecture and then doing some problems together because the best way to learn accounting is by doing accounting. Um, so rarely is there a full class of just lecturing. Um, but we started a new chapter today, so that's kind of where we were. Um, but let me just start out um, by introducing myself. Uh, my name is Laura Katz, and I'm an assistant professor in the business management department here at Springfield College. And I've been here for about eight years, and I teach mostly accounting classes, um, uh, introductory classes, as well as higher level classes. So um, one thing I just wanted to note was that um, when, uh, when you come into Springfield College, if we're lucky enough to have you um, come here in the fall, um, we, um, if, if you come in as a business major, there's a core curriculum. And usually in the first year or two, you're going to be taking some core business classes. And then after that, if you decide on a specific major, um, whether it's just staying at business management, or you could be a finance major, an accounting major, marketing, healthcare management. Um, so once you declare um, a specialty, if you so choose to do that in um, your third and fourth years is when you would um, really take uh, most of those higher level courses in your desired area. Um, and that would also, so as a junior and senior is when you would probably see more of those higher level courses, but the first two years are dedicated to mostly core um, business classes. So, um, so with me today, I have three students. Um, they are all going to be graduating in May and um, they're all accounting majors. So I have uh, Levi McCallis, who's online. Hello, Levi. Uh, Levi is an accounting major graduating in May. We have Samantha Mercado. She's also an accounting major, but she's a double major in accounting and finance. And we have Paige Shaughnessy, who's an accounting major, um, as well as a marketing and, and, uh, and, a, and a business major. So she actually has been able to graduate with three majors. Um, Paige, Levi, and Samantha have all had internships. Um, which is a very important aspect of our curriculum here at Springfield College. Um, what we try to do is ensure that students in any of the majors um, leave uh, Springfield College with one, if not two, um, meaningful internship experiences because we firmly believe that the, um, that the uh, work that you can do outside of the classroom and really be part of a um, a, a, a company or a corporation is um, one of the best ways to um, enhance your resume and to prepare you for the workforce um, once you graduate. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around to Levi, Paige, and Samantha. Um, I want to ask a question and they can respond and then I'm going to open it up um, to uh, Precious if you have any questions. James, if you have any questions, uh, we would love uh, to answer any of the questions that you may have. Um, so Levi, did you know when you came to Springfield College as a freshman, did you know you wanted to be a, um, an accounting teacher or did it take a little bit of time before you realized that? Uh, so yeah, I had an interesting journey. Uh, I started with sports management. I actually came in here looking for sports management, sports analytics. Uh, and after a year of taking those classes, I took concepts of accounting as a uh, elective. And I found from that class that I really liked it a lot more than I liked what I was doing in sports management. And um, there's nothing wrong with sports management. I just preferred the accounting aspect better. And I just kind of liked that there was always an answer. I found that in sports management, it was very broad and you could have many different answers, but I was accounting, there's always an answer. Uh, so I enjoyed trying to find that answer. and. Uh, I really enjoyed making the switch. And ever since I've made the switch, I definitely have not regretted it. And uh, I'm very excited to start a career in accounting. Great, thank you, Levi. Paige, how about you? 
So um, I also have another interesting uh, journey. So I started out in health science major. I wanted to be a physical therapist when I was coming into school. And um, I quickly switched over my second semester of freshman year. Um, but that was just because I got involved with the business club that we had and I was interested in that. And then when I switched over to took more business courses, I found that I was really good at accounting. I was getting like 98s on the first and second um, accounting classes. And I figured, you know, maybe it's something that I would be good at doing as a career. So um, getting into the advanced stages of accounting classes, I had an internship. And what I liked about this was Springfield has a setup with their classes where a lot of the times you're able to take either Tuesday, Thursday off or Monday, Wednesday, Friday off. And that's what I did. And um, so I could be at my internship for about 30 hours a week. So I gained some real experience in that internship, being able to have the opportunity of being there uh, for 30 hours a week. Um, and it gave me a lot of insight of like maybe what a career would look like after college. So I did that in my junior year of college. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So that's your journey. <laughs> Samantha, how about you? Um, <clears throat> so similar to both Levi and Paige, I originally was not an accounting major. Um, when I applied to Springfield College, I applied as a secondary math education uh, major. So I, I wanted to be a high school math teacher. Uh, my senior year of high school, I actually took just a basic accounting class in at my high school and I really loved it. I just basically fell in love with it and I made the decision to switch to accounting before I even got here. So I started off um, freshman year as an accounting major and obviously I've sticked with it the past four years and or the past three years, I'm actually a junior. Um, but last year I decided to add on the finance um, double major because um, like in the accounting program, you take a couple of finance classes along the way. And I decided I really liked that as well. So I added that on too. Okay, great. So, um, so we have two prospective students, um, Precious and James. Um, welcome to both of you. James, um, I know you got on a couple minutes late, so I didn't get a chance to say hello, but welcome. We're glad to have you um, zooming in today to learn a little bit more about the accounting program here at Springfield College. Um, so James, let me ask you first, um, do you, have you ever had any accounting classes in high school? Yeah, I'm actually in one right now. Okay, and where are you from, James? Uh, Chicopee High. Chicopee, okay, so you're local. Okay, that's great. So you like yeah. accounting and um, you're thinking of possibly coming into Springfield College as an accounting major. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's great. Um, Precious, how about you? Have you had any um, accounting classes in high school? Yes, please. Yes. You have? Okay. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, so what I could tell you is that accounting is definitely a rigorous major. Um, however, um, if you could make it through the rigor of the program, the good news is that there are a lot of jobs out there um, in the accounting field. Accounting is one of the fastest growing fields in business. Um, so every company, um, whether it's a private company, is always needs to have accountants on staff, um, but you can also choose to go the public accounting route and become a CPA. Um, I know that Levi is taking that route. He's um, had uh, an internship in public accounting, and he is going um, to start with a big four firm in September. Um, Paige has also had a public accounting internship at a very uh, prestigious local firm here in Springfield. And Samantha um, has currently, is currently doing a finance internship, um, but I'm sure there's probably a little bit of accounting in there as well. <laughs> Am I right, Samantha, in terms of your internship, have you been doing any accounting or has it been mostly finance related? Um, I'd say it's mostly more finance related, but yeah. Okay. All right. So again, um, you know, the good news is that um, there is a, a significant need um, for accounting professionals. Um, the industry is changing very quickly. Technology is changing the industry very quickly, um, but it's an exciting time to be an accounting major. 
um, especially if you're hoping to, to get a job um, when you graduate. So, so what I want to do now is um, really just kind of open up the conversation um, to Precious and James um, to see if you have any questions for Paige, Levi, or Samantha. Anything that you'd like to know about Springfield, it doesn't even necessarily need to, buy, to be about the accounting program. It could just be about Springfield College in general and the experience that they've had here as a student. Um, I just want to like know more about the accounting class. Like, so you said earlier that it was like more problem based, right? Yes. So I, I truly feel that the best way to learn accounting is to do accounting and. So whether you're in the introductory level classes of accounting, which is principles of accounting one and principles of accounting two, which you would take as a sophomore, um, those problems, uh, I'm sorry, those, um, uh, those classes incorporate a lot of theory about why accountants do what they do, why are accountants important. Um, a lot of times we refer to accounting as the language of business. And it's about being able to look at the financial statements of a company and interpret and understand what's happening with that company. So in principles of accounting one and two, we prepare you to get to the point where you can actually look at those financial statements and understand the components of those financial statements. But it takes a lot to get there. There's a lot of journal entries and debits and credits and um, really kind of breaking down um, the basics of accounting and you carry forward that knowledge all throughout your four years or your remaining years at Springfield College. So you start at those introductory level. And then when you're a junior and a senior, you'll be taking a lot more higher level classes like income taxes, auditing, managerial accounting, um, intermediate one and intermediate two, which are technic very technical classes. Um, Samantha is in that class right now. Levi and Paige have already had it. Um, so it's definitely a harder, harder classes. Um, but if you could get through intermediate one and two, you're well on your way to, um, to, to kind of getting towards the end. Um, so, um, so yes, a lot of problem solving, a lot of in-class work is typically how we try to deliver that accounting um, information. Paige. I also wanted to chime in and let you know kind of like how the classroom will look when you get there. So especially for accounting classes, you're going to be on the computers almost the entire time. When you when we go into the classroom, you pull the computer right up from the desk and we're going to be going through the way I did it. I actually had a few classmates I worked with. So when we went through the lectures, they were fast and you wanna pay attention to everything. So we shared a doc and we made all these notes. And then after the lecture part, and we went on to the problems, we were able to go into Excel, which would be the second portion of the class. And we work on problems and you can work with people around you. We just wanna make sure that you'll be able to understand it. So when you go and do your homework, um, you'll have a proper understanding of that. So you will be on the computers for pretty much the entire class. Uh, I think for all accounting classes, it's like that. Um, also in some of the core classes that you're gonna take as part of a business major, um, like some the finance classes that you're gonna have to take are also gonna be on, on the computer. So you'll have a lot of opportunity to really learn Excel and um, have those skill sets for that as well. Thank you, Paige. And Paige made a really good point about Excel skills. I mean, you will leave Springfield College with a very, very strong skill set in Excel, um, even at more advanced um, functions in Excel. Um, so that's something that um, is very important in the workplace when you leave here, regardless of your major. If you're a business major, you need to have really, really strong um, computer and Excel skills. Um, so that's something that we really try to do. Samantha? Yeah, something else I wanted to add about like the classroom setting, like what um, Paige was talking about, is um, since accounting is kind of like one of the small, like I would say it's one of the smaller programs at Springfield College. Um, once you get to like the higher level classes, like the intermediate one and two, um, there's only probably about 
like for example in my class right now there's like six to eight people so you get a really like one-on-one -on -one experience and like anytime you need help like you're you're pretty much guaranteed you're gonna have that time in class to ask and even if you don't ask in class you can go to office hours um during the pandemic what professors have been doing is doing a, like office hours through zoom and um they're very flexible with like hours and they'll def they will always make the time to meet with you to get the extra help you need james do you have any other questions about the program um no i think that's it okay precious do you have any questions So um, another thing I wanted to um, just have the students weigh in on is. Um, I have a question. Oh, sure. I have a question. All right. It's not about content. It's about something else. Can I ask it out? Oh, sure. So it's in the chat. Um, I'm sorry, Precious. What was your question? Um, it's not about content, it's about something else. Can I ask it on this platform, please? Oh, sure. All right. I wanted to know how I can assess the housing contract on Friday because I've been trying to assess about having gotten any application yet to fill out for the housing. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that one more mm -hmm. time? I know it's super hard. We're, we're all used to wearing masks, um, but just repeat that one more time. Okay. I'm like, can you please help me get a housing contract on Friday because I'm trying to get it on, but I can't have it on Friday. Can you help me out? You're, you're looking for a housing contract? Yes, please, sure. Okay, so what I can do is get in touch with um, Nick Venn. So Nicholas Venn is our international um, recruiter. So I'll make sure he emails you. Um, this is my daughter, Kensley. Um, <laughs> I'll make sure that he emails you all the information about housing and you and you know anything else you need to know about. Um, you want to live on campus? Sure. sure. Okay. Yep. I'll make sure we send you all the information. Okay. Thank you. So. Um, so again, you know, my final comment about the accounting program here is that it's a really, um, and kind of to Sam's point, um, we're a small group. Um, not a lot of people um, major in accounting because I think the general sense is two things. Either you really have a, an affinity for accounting, you enjoy um, the numbers aspect of, um, you know, of the business, um, or you, um, so you're just kind of naturally gifted in that way. Um, it is a hard program, but it's a very rewarding program. And again, we are small, but to Sam's point, um, that just means that we have really extra time to make sure that everybody feels comfortable with the material before we move on to the next topic. So, and again, um, from, a, from a career perspective, it really is, uh, accounting is one of the leading um, uh, majors in terms of what, what employers are looking for in the business world right now, accounting is right up there. So, um, so I just kind of wanted to, to make that note. And um, also, I just wanted Paige and Levi and Sam maybe just to weigh in a little bit about their overall experience. I know you're James and Precious, you're probably looking at other schools as well. And maybe uh, the three of them can just weigh in briefly about their overall experience here at Springfield College, maybe talking a little bit about humanics and how and what that's meant to them. And, you know, um, really kind of their, their big takeaway um, as they're almost ready to graduate. So Paige, maybe you could start and give us your overall sense of what Springfield College has meant to you. So when I was doing, um, when I was searching for colleges and where I wanted to go, I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't do a lot of research. And when I came to Springfield, and I had a tour and I talked to some of the people, I don't know if you guys are interested in doing sports, but I was also an athlete at Springfield, I got in contact with everyone. And the first thing that stood out to me was everyone that I spoke with followed up with me and checked on me periodically as I finished my senior year um, to see how I was doing. Nothing, not to push anything on me, just to ask how I was. And I really, really like that because when I got here, um, as we all know, the triangle spirit, mind and body, 
uh, that Springfield encompasses, it's really shown through the people who work here and who go to school here. And it just shows how much that everyone actually cares about how you're doing and you know, your academic and just life, how you, how you are essentially. And that's one of the things when I got here is I really enjoyed. And I was, I'm like, feel like I lucked out because I didn't do as much research on different colleges that you guys might be doing, but I seriously did luck out because it's such a great environment to be around. I'm sure you've heard everyone holds the door open for everyone. There's no one who won't. So when you're on campus, that's another like really cool perk that we have on campus. And I changed majors a few times. And through that process, I was able to have all the help that I needed. And as much as it sounds like it'd be overwhelming, it wasn't because I had the support behind me. Um, Another thing that I really liked is Springfield College is really has a lot of opportunities for you. I created a club. So I have a club on campus, a women in business club. That was the opportunity that I was given just because we are a small group. And um, it was just the environment that I had and the support that I had, I was able to do something like that. So the opportunities are great at this college. Um, And also just to add another cool little thing, um, when I was doing my internship, I had one class that wouldn't have fit in um, with when I'd be doing my internship. So they were able to be flexible enough for me where I was able to take that course at a different time somewhere else. So when you have those like big internships that you will really benefit from, they'll really work with you and able so that you're able to get all your classes done and then have like a really good internship and be able to learn from that as well. So I just overall Springfield has been a great place, um, dear to my heart, I will say. And it's somewhere well, I could never, I don't foresee how anyone would ever want to transfer after being here because it's such a good community. And just like, again, the support that I've had is just like, I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for, I couldn't even even imagine for it, so. Thank you, Paige. Levi, how about you? Uh, Similar to Paige, I kind of didn't do the most research I would have liked to do looking back on it when it came to picking a college, I kind of was just floating around and trying to find one because everyone was doing it. Um, But I ended up looking here because of the sports analytics uh, and the sports manager program because I was very into sports. And uh, I would say just like Paige, I definitely lucked out because this uh, this college is very sports and athletic driven. So overall, outside of the accounting program, um, I've been involved with the football team as a student assistant. Um, and that has really helped me grow as a person. And it's been, given me a lot of a family environment here and just kind of shown me what it's like to be a part of this community and this college. And like Paige says, everyone here is very friendly. I know you probably hear that at a lot of places, but it's really meant here. Um, this college is a lot different than a lot of other places, I think, because we're a smaller school. But you really do feel like you're a part of a community and a family, um, almost like you're in a high school. It's not like you're in one of those big division one schools that has like 20,000 people. Um, So I definitely have been grateful for the opportunity to come here. I wouldn't have wanted to go anywhere else looking back on it. Um, This is the perfect place for me. Uh, It's very sports driven. It's a very just a great community with a lot of great people around. So I definitely felt that it was the right choice for me and uh, I'm very grateful of it. Thanks Levi. Sam, how about you? Um, Yeah, I definitely agree with everything Paige and Levi said. It's a very tight-knit community, especially within your major. Like, there's only a handful of professors, so you you get to know them all really well. Um, And, like, anywhere you go, like, you're you're pretty much guaranteed to see somebody that you know, like, in the dining hall, at the gym, like, wherever you go. Like, there's always someone that's going to wave at you, say hi. Um, it's just a really great community. And even if you aren't involved in sports, like Leah, I was saying, it's very, I feel like Springfield College is very athletic driven, but personally, I haven't been involved in sports at all, but like I had a job on campus and like, there's just always something for everyone to be involved in, no matter what their interests are. Thanks, Sam. And I think, you know, um, Paige and Levi and Sam can probably all agree that it's been very challenging over the past year because of COVID. Um, you know, Precious, you have your mask on. James, I'm sure you're dealing with some similar issues in Chicopee in terms of mask wearing and social distancing. Um, And the school has been incredibly supportive 
um, of knowing that this is a really, really difficult time. And um, the school has gone above and beyond to make sure that faculty have what they need and more importantly, that students have what they need. Um, so I can say that the college has really um, done everything they can possibly do to make this experience as seamless as possible. None of us expected this was gonna happen last year. And uh, we're, we're slowly feeling like we're coming out of it. And um, the good news is if you come here it, uh, in the fall, um, my hope is that um, things are much more opened up and um, that you can have really a traditional um, undergraduate experience. Um, whereas some of our students like the three that are on, um, this is their senior year and it's definitely been a struggle, but they've been troopers and um, we're just hoping that COVID is, you know, behind us. I know we still have a little way to go, um, but the school has really been supportive of uh, faculty and, and, and students to try to help us get through this difficult time. Do you have any, um, any other questions? So like, I just wanted to ask like, where is like, the accounting program like located on the campus? So almost all the classes are in Lachlan Hall. Um, so pretty much every business course is here. Um, for accounting, all of our classes are in Lachlan primarily because as Paige alluded to, we um, use the computer for pretty much all of our work. So the computer lab, uh, which is equipped with 15 computers, um, we use those computers, or actually more than 15. But um, so most of our classes are here in Lachlan. Um, but for your other core classes, um, you'll be all over campus, but mostly in Lachlan for your, for your business core and your accounting classes. And the nice thing is, is we have a lounge here in Lachlan on the second floor, where before COVID students would come, they would um, sit in the lounge, uh, we always have a TV on one of the business networks, um, CNBC or Bloomberg, um, and um, we have tables and computers so that if you have a class in Lachlan and you have an hour before your next class, you could come into the lounge and do your work. And we're always welcoming to any students that come into the lounge. Um, and again, because our program is on the smaller side, we know you by first name and uh, we really get to know you very well um, throughout the four years that you're here. Anything else to add? All right, well, um, I hope I see both of you um, in September. And um, if you have any questions, um, Delaney can make sure that you have my contact information. So if there's something that maybe you forgot to ask today, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Um, so please feel free to reach out to me with, with questions. All right, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks to the students and to Professor Katz for hosting. Um, I'm sure you all, I know it feels far away, but you can remember the time when you were looking at schools and this certainly helps during the COVID time when students can't come to campus for an accepted event. So thank you all for being here. Okay. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye James. Bye Precious. Thanks for joining.